Okay, so I just turned my house upside down trying to find this letter my mother had written me um, letting me know that she has always known that I was gay. Um, so I can't find it. I'm like so frustrated. I found everything. I found like yens. I found euros. I found um, money from across seas that I've collected and everything. But what I did come across were these, you know? And thinking of the topic, have your mother, have, do you think mothers always have known that you were gay? Um, I looked at this little boy. I looked at that little boy. Actually, no, let's start, start off in order. So first, I'm gonna go right here. So first, I looked at this little boy. Yep. And this boy was unsure back then, you know. That boy grew into this boy. See? Crushes really start developing. That boy grew into this boy. All right? Then that boy grew into this boy. All right. Now getting a little bit more mature, that boy grew into this boy. You see, you see where this is going. Now that boy right here actually had the chance to go study abroad at this age and discover the world. Um, this one, that boy was really kind of struggling with his sexual feelings and, you know, going through that whole, oh my God, am I going to hell? But um, I was too, I didn't go abroad. So the boy went through, that was middle school. I think that was like around eighth grade or something. That boy, so that boy went to high school who then went to college who turned into this boy. I also found my portfolio trying to find this damn letter. So that boy, fast forward a couple of years, grew up to this boy right here. This boy, which is ooh, right there. Oh. All right. And this boy right here is actually me right now. You know, These are, this is from a photo shoot I recently did. Um, and so I was thinking about it, but pretty much when I was going through those pictures, I was thinking, especially the younger ones of myself, um, yeah, mothers have always known, and I really wish I could have found this letter. So pretty much the letter said, I'm going to try to remember it verbatim, and it probably wasn't meant for me to find it because it was really personal, and she probably only intended um, for me to read those words. But I'm going to try to remember it. Uh, it said... Dear son, your sister came over today and we had a talk. She let something slip as far as you dating. I remember that. I remember that. Um, okay, fuck it. So pretty much she, she it was the letter went to saying that, you know, my sister um, pretty much came over, um, went to our house and she let it slip out that, oh, she thought my parents knew. And my mother in turn told her, um, yeah, you know, we, yeah, I know, but I want you to say it because he haven't came out. So my sister pretty much just had to belch it out because I was dating this guy. And she told them and she gave her a letter and the letter said that they known ever since I was two weeks years old, believe it or not. And she said that the family had, that God actually told her, to, that Jesus spoke to her and told her that I was going to be gay. She said, that's how she know I didn't choose it, but the Lord told her I was going to be gay and that um, this is going to be my journey to accomplish what I need to accomplish 
which I'm still trying to figure out. And she said um, she even had tests ran on me. I know it sounds bizarre. At two weeks years old, and she started talking about chemical imbalances and all this other jazz, which I still don't understand, and that the doctors told her that um, it's a 95% chance that I might be gay. So they said they know since I was two weeks years old. Months is already know. And um, as far as coming out, I think you have to come out when the time is best for you. Um, technically, I guess I really never had to come out. But um, when I did, I just came out all at once. So it was just, I, I, I was just like, you know, pretty much, fuck it. Um, hi, guys. I'm here and I'm queer. Yeah, that was lame. So um, that's pretty much how it was. And I really wish I could have found that letter. Oh, it's really bugging me. Um, but yeah, that's my stories, and I really do think um, mothers always have known. So this week's challenge is to cry, to try to cry, <laughs> to try to cry on camera. So here is my attempt. I can't cry. I really can't. I don't know what's wrong with me. Ugh, it, it sucks. I got one tear out. I guess I failed this week's challenge. I, it's, yeah, it sucks. I just can't. It's not a part of me. To, it's just not a part of me. I really don't cry. I have a hard time crying. I cried one time, and when I realized that um, people would try to take advantage of your emotions, I, I I promised myself I would never do it again. And that's probably the reason. It's a mental block. I'm thinking of the saddest thing I can think of, and I'm not. Uh, I'm not crying. I just can't.